Hello aspirants, welcome you all. Let us solve one quantitative aptitude question based on the topic called number system. Here is the question. Consider the following statement and conclusions. The statement given here are if a comma b comma c and d are the whole numbers, be sure that whole numbers such that here four equations has been provided some conclusions given you need to check with the conclusions after solving the statements here we need to identify which of the above conclusion is or are true let us solve the problem just consider those four equations as one two three just i'm considering one two three and then four after taking this as an equation add one plus two plus three plus four what you are going to do is just add the lhs and the respective RHS. Here, how many A's are present? 1, 2, 3. Therefore, 3 A's are present. And then 3 B's are present. 3 C's are present. And then 3 D's are present in the LHS. Add the corresponding RHS. 16. Then 20, 26. 2 carries. 6, 15, 17. And then 23. Again, 2 carries. 4 plus 2. 6. Just take 3 as a common. A plus B plus C plus D, which is equal to 636. Here we can able to identify the equation of A plus B plus C just by dividing 636 by 3. After dividing, you will get 212. So consider this as the equation number 5. To find A, B, C, we need to solve the equations. To find A, what you need to do? Simple thing to find a 5 minus 1 equation number 5 minus 1 which means b c d will eliminate it on the lhs the remaining would be a what is the corresponding rhs 2 and 2 minus 146 after doing this subtraction you will get a is equal to 66 how to find b to find a b just use equation number 2 with the 5 therefore 5 minus 2 here 5 minus 2 is nothing but simply eliminating c d a we can able to derive the answer as b so the b is equal to 212 minus 198 therefore b is equal to 14 here now how to identify the value of C that is very important to find the value of C we can take any two equations since we know the value of A and B just substitute A comma B in the equation number 3 if you substitute this we can able to get the values here A is nothing but 66 and then B is nothing but 14 we need to identify the value of C. In this case, RHS is equal to 128. Then C is equal to 128 minus 66. Then minus 14. Just subtract this. 128 minus 80. So this is nothing but C. C is equal to 48. Now, to find D, you can do anyways. Okay. You can take equation number 4 or else you can do 5 minus 3 also. We can get a directly 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is nothing but we can eliminate A, B, C. Which means here in the LHS D will be though. So this is equal to 212 minus 128. Therefore D is equal to 84. After finding out the value of A, B, C, D just check with the conclusions let us check with the conclusions b is the smallest number and b is equal to 14 check a b c yes among a b c d b is the smallest number therefore b is equal to 14 this statement is right this conclusion is right now go with the eliminating options since we can able to eliminate the 50 percent of the options now listen here carefully one should be door in the options but therefore b can d can eliminate or then b can eliminate or 
Now you have to check with three alone. Here you just go with the statement that is conclusion number two. D is the largest largest number and D is equal to eighty six. But the D is equal to eighty four. Therefore, this statement is wrong. A is the largest number, or A is equal to six. Here be careful that A is the largest number or this statement will make you this R will make you this statement is correct. Since a is equal to sixty-six, therefore, answer for this question would be C, one, and three is the answer. That is the both one and three is the answer for this question. I hope you have understood this question, and then, if you like this initiative, kindly subscribe and like and comment. Thank you all. Have a good day.